All right, so today is shoulders and chest. Actually, today is supposed to be arms, but we're making it for yesterday. So today is shoulders and chest. Um, I'm thinking about getting the screen share software. So I'm gonna document, or I'm gonna illustrate to y'all kind of like what I do on the back end. Um, kind of show you how my, my data is correlated um, with all this experiment and just data in general from the biomarkers. Um, that sounds kind of confusing right now, but I'll explain all that later. But it should be pretty good, uh, a pretty good software to have to illustrate to y'all, you know, how everything I do is impacting, you know, everything within my health. So hopefully that's gonna be money well spent and I'll show it to y'all after this workout here. All right, so this is one of my favorite front deltoid movements here. Put a bench on an incline, grab like an easy bar fixed weight curl, and then just go up. By having your body leaning against the bench, you're not gonna have all that momentum coming into play and you're gonna really focus on the muscle itself. One thing I like about this gym, it's super hot and humid in here. I'm sweating my butt off. I'm getting work done. I love it. We're killing it. We're killing it. All right, we're laying down outside the gym to reduce wind noise because I hate it when the wind's really bad on camera. So here I am trying to prevent that. But just finished our workout, chest and uh, shoulders, shoulders and legs for her. And we skipped yesterday. Yesterday we normally would do chest and shoulders, but uh, since we got a late start, we decided to make that our off day. And today, our chest and shoulder day, which is kind of a good segue into something I wanted to touch on real quick, which is, you know, rest days. Cause like three days ago, I made a video about earning it and doing what you want or doing what you need to, whether or not you want to. And uh, here I am taking an unscheduled rest day. So how does that make sense? Kind of conflicting, right? The main thing is to put in the work and, and get it up, get it all done. You know, if you want to like rearrange your rest days, if you want to kind of fluctuate things, as long as you're able to get it all done, all the better. I mean, we had a better workout today than if we would have gone last night, you know? Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, we didn't miss a day. We didn't like talk ourselves out of training shoulders and chest. We, we killed it, and we just kind of moved around things a little bit. So let that be known, you know? Give yourself enough flexibility to, you know, not just hold yourself to such a strict schedule that you wind up failing in the long run, but at the same time, don't sell yourself short and skip days. So, make sense? Uh, yep. Deep Thoughts by Crystal. All right, <laughs> catch y'all later. All right, what's up, everybody? Just hopped out the shower. Uh, quick update here. I don't know if y'all, you probably wouldn't know this, but I could like totally geek out on like software as it pertains to improving the efficiency or the effectiveness of my business. So, I just spent 130 bucks and got ScreenFlow, which is like a screen recording software for my computer. And um, I went back and forth as to whether or not I could justify that purchase, but I think I'm gonna get the hang of this and it's gonna be able to add more value to y'all. Because I'm gonna be able to like, record, you know, like certain things I wanna show you on my website. Um, eventually I'm gonna have like an app for my phone and it can even, you know, record uh, your phone device so I can record that and illustrate like how, how, it, how it goes through. Um, I'm gonna be able to like, use it with this uh, hypertrophy experiment because I could show you from my computer screen the, the graphs and the trend lines. So I'm pretty excited about that. So this is my first time using it. I'm probably gonna mess up, but I'm gonna jump in and uh, we'll just get started. So that said, welcome to my computer. All right, so I'm gonna test this out and I'm gonna show you kind of what we've got going here with Heads Up Health, which if you've listened to my latest podcast with um, David Korsunsky, this is his this is his baby this was he made uh, which is basically a really good way to track your your data over time your biomarkers over time so I'm just gonna give you a quick little tour of what I've got plugged into mine so this is my dashboard and you can plug these in manually you can sync them to a Fitbit you know like blood glucose I'm taking every single morning uh, breath ketones I'm taking every single morning uh, the blood ketones I'm taking every single morning I got all my measurements plugged in there um, and if you click on it, it shows like a five-day average. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty in-depth. You can add whatever metrics you want to. Um, I have a Fitbit, and I just recently started using that again. So I've got like my Fitbit steps uh, synced up. I just plugged that up, so I got more than 100 steps today, I promise. Um, but yeah, so that's what the dashboard looks like. 
and you can add these manually for instance like so in the morning when I check my breath ketones I can add one manually and then I can put the time I can put the I can go to advanced options here and put whether I was fasting you know my relation to when I worked out so that's pretty cool um, and then once I have all this plugged in I can go to uh, actually also you can plug in and sync your um, lab tests so like these are these are my last two uh, lipid panel tests one on the 5th and one on the 20th January 20th so you can sync up all your data here and see kind of how it's correlated over time which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me um, so I have all my information there and I'm like as I get more tests I'll just sync it up to this so I have access to all of it uh, you know going forward but then what's cool and then what I'm looking forward to using, especially as it relates to this three-month hypertrophy experiment, is I go over here to the analyzer button, I click on that, and then I can pick out of this criteria and graph it. So like right now I've got calories consumed, clicked, and um, blood glucose. So I can see kind of as it trends upward, you know, with my calories, um, kind of what my blood glucose is doing. And it's, it's kind of all over the place right now. But uh, for instance, I can go to... Um, let me type in weight. I'll put that in there, and uh, actually, we put weight and calories, and see um, calories consumed. I'll put that in there. So my weight's been going up, my protein's been going up. It's kind of syncing up now. Give it a second. Okay, so you can see as my my calories have increased, so as my weight has increased. And this this drop is simply because I haven't put today's calories in the in the software yet but it's pretty cool because you can graph these over time and you can sync my fitness palette to this up to this you can sync um, you know you can sync your Fitbit up there's there's several different things you could sync up like you go to connect data and uh, connect devices and apps um, connect your medical records other sources but I mean if you click on that and I haven't even really played around but there's all kinds of things you can uh, I know this is a popular macro tracker um, Apple Health, so pretty, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to kind of take this opportunity to show uh, the, kind of the back end of Heads Up Health, and then I also wanted to test out this new screen software. And I'm, I'm gonna just keep getting better at this, so I apologize, it's kind of all over the place right now. But I'm gonna, I'm working on getting a green screen made up in my office right now, so that you can see me over here in the corner just talking away. <laughs> so uh, that's a work in progress, but. That's what I wanted to show today. Just kind of give you, give you a heads up. Uh, by the way, this morning, my uh, ketones were, my breath ketones were super low at 7.6 parts per million, and my uh, my blood ketones have been pretty low lately, and my my blood glucose was one of the highest it's been in a while, so 103. So, um, kind of a quick way to glance at that and see what my metrics are there. But that is all I've got to say about this. I'm going to keep getting better at this and keep adding value. Hopefully this will pay for itself and uh, it'll be worth the purchase. But I think as I continue to get better, I'll be able to add more value to y'all. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see and I'll be working on it. All right, ladies and gents, catch y'all later.